Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So this will be my May empties that I'm gonna be sharing with you and I don't feel like I have that many. I think I have more than I, what I have had for the past few months but it's a very very heavy bag here so I think I have a lot of glass bottles here so I think that's the reason why it's so heavy but I'm just gonna dig into and show you what I have I do have some makeup items uh, that I have finished off so I'm gonna share those with you first the first one is a mascara from NYX in the or NYX Padankadank Lush Lashes Mascara in the shade just black I think this is what that one looks like and the wand is Okay, and it just broke. This did what didn't happen before. Let's see if I can put pull out the wand. It's a very thick, fat wand with very short, spiky, plasticky bristles on it. I really didn't enjoy this very much. It was very smudgy. It was difficult to apply, and it didn't do all that much for my lashes. So. I will most likely not be repurchasing this if I keep remembering that it wasn't good. And then I have another mascara here. This is from the brand Kix, which is a lo local uh, cosmetic store here in Sweden. And it is in the in their line Daring False Lash Extreme Volume and Length Mascara in the shade Black. And this is what the packaging of that one looks like. So. It's a quite pretty packaging. The mascara was okay. It has this kind of pointy wand on it. I really didn't see anything special to it. It got lumpy really fast. I barely used it for about two months and I can't use it anymore. It's very lumpy. It kind of transferred on my bottom portion of my underneath my eye and stuff like that. I just it wasn't any good actually so I will not be purchasing that one again and then I have three nail polishes here so if you haven't seen my project polish I recommend you to go and watch it I will link it somewhere up here for you so you can go and check it out but other than that spoiler alert I did finish two nail polishes for my project polish and the first one is from SC in the shade fashion flares and this is what that one looks like so this one is completely finished I'm glad to have it out of my collection it is a glittery top coat kind of nail polish it was a pain in the ass to remove so I'm glad to have that one out of my collection I will not be purchasing that again and then we have my Yves Rocher uh, nail polish in the shade 71 men and this is what that one looks like so it's a very pretty shade it's what I have on my nails right now uh, it's the last application that I have on my nails and I really need to repaint them it was a really good quality but I will not be purchasing this again either because they are not cruelty free and then I have a top coat here that I actually used as a base coat and this one is from depend in the shade number 080 and it's just a little bottle right here uh, and it's completely finished I don't know if you can see on the inside but there is not even a droplet left in there I completely finished that off and then I have a bunch of little bigger things first here is the cotton rounds from Ika which is a local grocery store just a brand that's very easy accessible for me to buy they were nothing special but they they functioned the way a cotton round is supposed to function basically then we have some my neighbors are making noises and he's scared uh, then we have the uh, therapy cream for ends repair from brower uh, B squared basically it's a hair cream that you put in the wet hair before drying it to kind of give it moisture and repair ends I presume I have completely used it up I have cut it open and used every last little bit out of it as you can see and um, I enjoyed this I think I got it in a glossy box at some point so 
I will not be purchasing this again. I wouldn't even know where to purchase it and I'm glad that it's out of my collection. And then I have a conditioner. This is from Noberu of Sweden for no noble gentlemen only it says and this is what the packaging looks like. So this is actually something that belonged to my uh, boyfriend but he didn't use it all that much. I used it the most and our little doggy used it as well and our doggy was really soft smelling really nice afterwards and me I didn't like this on my hair at all actually this left it very dry and frizzy and just it didn't give it any moisture at all to my hair so I would not purchase this for me but for our dog it was perfect so for him we would definitely purchase that again. Then I have some sunscreen. This is the Eco Cosmetics Neutral with the SPF 20. So this is eco certified, water resistant and UVA proofed organic cosmetic. So this is all natural stuff. It's vegan, it's not tested on animals, it's uh, carbon dioxide neutral and I'm sweating so much, it's so warm here. It was really nice, it had that natural scent to it. Um, I can't say if it did protect my skin or not, but I didn't get burned, so I'm presuming it did what it's supposed to. The scent is very herbally, natural kind of scent, so if you don't like that type of scent, this is not something I would recommend. But it was nice, but it was also really expensive. It's one of those a little bit more expensive brands. I would definitely consider purchasing that again. Then I have a, another sample size here. This is from Wild Rose Advanced Repair Sleeping Facial for all skin, skin types from Caress. And this is what that one looks like. So I got this in an advent calendar from Look Fantastic for the last spring. And as you can see, I opened it up completely and used up every last little bit of it. Um, I did enjoy this. It was very rosy scent to it so if you don't like the scent of rose you wouldn't like this it did linger on my skin and i would put it in the evening and keep it on for the night uh, it did feel my skin leave my skin very moisturized uh, i liked the way it felt on the skin it was kind of a luxurious item to put on my face but honestly i don't wouldn't know where to get caress and i wouldn't know if it's cruelty free or not i don't know anything about it and even though I like the scent, uh, the scent of a rose kind of gets tired after a while, so I'm kind of glad that it's out of my collection. Then I have a perfume here. This one is a little sample size from my Sample Sunday. If you haven't seen those series either, I will link them up there somewhere for you to see them if you want to. This is the Moment de Bonheur by Yves Rocher. So it's just a little sample size. As you can see there and it's completely done. There is not a droplet left in this one. I wouldn't purchase it. Yves Rocher is not cruelty free. They do sell in China and also this scent was very sweet. It was like a mixture of sugar and honey together. It was, I, I mean, I felt like a bee's nest or something walking around. This was really not my scent at all. Um, then I finished a big perfume. So this is a huge accomplishment. This is from uh, Vertigo Prestige uh, in the scent Unique Floor Pour Femme and this is what that one looks like. So it is a big bottle uh, it was about 100 milliliters yeah and I used it all up every last little droplet of it I don't have even a drop in there left. I really enjoyed this it was a floral very fresh kind of scent not like overly floral but more on a fresh side almost like very clean laundry I really like this and I'm gonna miss this for especially for the summertime it's perfect when it's sunny it didn't linger on my body for too long I could it kind of blended and mixed well with my body chemistry so it was really nice but I, I wouldn't know where to get this brand anyway then we have another kind of sample size from Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream that is anti-wrinkle day cream and anti-aging. This is what that one looks like. I think I have finished one of these previously. This is also something that I got in a uh, advent calendar from Look Fantastic that I purchased for uh, last December. 
and I think I finished one of these and I purchased one of the calendars for a sibling of mine and she gave this to me because she doesn't need anti-aging uh, things uh, so I used it happily up it was really nice I wouldn't know where to get it so I will not be purchasing that probably next thing here is a sample from Yves Rocher that this is the rich cream for daycare comforting anti-wrinkle cream it's just a little foil packet um, I can't remember what this felt like so nobody cares and then we have the Filorga Laboratories scrub and mask another sample here this was very special it was a mask that was first like a white cream and then you put it on your face and then it turns into foam by itself and then the foam thingies just kind of pop all over until the whole face is cleared from foam and then what's left on the face is a scrubby bit that you kind of scrub your face with as you wash them off so this was very special very interesting I liked it I did think that it left my skin feeling quite nice afterwards it felt different and a little bit on a luxurious side but this is super expensive for a face mask I think I counted it to be $53 American dollars or something like that and that's quite a lot of money so I don't know if I'm prepared to spend that kind of money on that then I have a clear little package here this is for my q-tips so I would stop another package of those when I clean up my makeup or whatever I need those all the time so I use those a lot then we have another sample here this is from Adriatic Essences gentle soap this is what that one looks like this is a wonderful little soft soap I really really liked it uh, it was nice on my skin very gentle very foamy I liked it I wouldn't be able to purchase it again because I got it from a hotel in Croatia when I was there on my trip but if I would know where to purchase it I would probably purchase that again and the last item here is my Nivea antiperspirant pearl, pearl and beauty for underarms so basically a deodorant from Nivea I like this I think it felt very fresh and clean and it left me feeling very fresh and clean and I used up every last little bit that I could get out of it it smells really nice I would definitely purchase this again I know it's not cruelty free but honestly I can't find something that is and that works as well as Nivea deodorants so this would probably be purchased again maybe not in this specific model or scent but Nivea in general I think has very good deodorants and that was it for my empties my bag is completely empty I do feel like I had a little bit more this month around I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope to see you in my next one bye bye